Importing your recipe starts from the recipe box and can be found by clicking this link. You then have the option to either enter it manually or import from a website. I'm going to do the more exciting option. You enter in the URL of the recipe you're trying to import, then you crop the image so it looks cool, click done cropping and then check out the recipe. If you're on a website with a properly formatted page, i.e. a bulleted ingredient list and a numbered list of directions, and there are no advertising pop-ups or other nonsense, it will look something like this, with the ingredients and the how to prepare all laid out correctly. If nothing pops in at this point, you can simply copy and paste those sections into here. Having got those two sections how you want them, to have this recipe scheduling automatically in a future meal plan, you also need to enter a season, course, and main ingredient. If you try to save without doing so, we'll prompt you. It's not mandatory. So let's do that. Here are the drop downs. Let's pick all seasons, entree, and vegetable. You can keep adding if you want the recipe box to find this recipe more easily. So let's call this one Latin, in case I'm searching for all Latin recipes. Okay, click save, and then you're shown the most important screen in the whole process. This is so that we understand the ingredients that make up the recipe, as we want to ensure the shopping list is correct. This column hosts all the ingredients. And here we have the quantities and units of measures, and then of course a few notes. This all looks good. So confirm here to which it may tell you there are rows with no quantities or units of measure. But in most cases, provided the ingredients are in the correct column, it's fine. See here, the limes don't have a unit of measure, or here the salt has no quantity, as the note says, add to taste. Click confirm, and then the recipe will be imported into your recipe box. You can then schedule it like this, and you can see it in your meal plan here. To get back to any of your imported recipes, simply go over to the origin filter here, and you'll find it again. Happy importing.